Family-owned business, of course, American Pride, American Strong. They are known for their full-scale musical climbers. They are always a favorite during our Christmas in July um, or during our holiday and Christmas shows here at HSN. First time ever here where we are not only doing your little climbers, a price that absolutely freaks me out. I cannot believe this value. We've got a ton of choices. We're going to take you on a tour. Uh, and in fact, you know what, Steve, since time is of the essence, um, can we say hi to Meryl real quick? Because she's got everything set up at home. Uh, that'll save us a little time because we've got lots of choices. But you have to see this little guy in action. I'm in love, love, love with this musical and fun. So we have first time anywhere, I think that you're seeing the gnome. We have white Santa, black Santa. We have our little reindeer and you can't have that elf on the shelf. Let him climb that Christmas tree or that buffet or that bookcase. We have, of course, named for her grandfather and really, really um, bringing that legacy to life is Meryl, who is joining us via Skype. Meryl, I love you. I love anything that Mr. Christmas does. Oh, this, this could be my favorite item I've ever seen from you and your family. Seriously. Oh, Shannon, I'm so excited. So excited that it's the birthday surprise as well. But how appropriate because we have been, people have been asking us for so long, can you please make a smaller Santa, lat climbing Santa so that we can enjoy it, you know, on our smaller trees, in our kitchen, in our kids' rooms, in the, on the mantle, in the windowsill. And we said, we can do it. And that is what we have done here. So for the first time, we are offering a mini, but packs a punch. He actually climbs every rung of the ladder as he goes up, and down, he'll play three songs. And we have a lot of choices, as you mentioned. We have the reindeer, we have the snowman, we have the black Santa, the white Santa, we've got the gnome. I am just in love with the gnome. We've got the sweet elf there. So these are just so, so much fun. Shannon, each one in his own little fabric suit, each one stitched with that, holding that uh, LED strand. And I put one in my tree too, I love that. I put the little elf because he's helping me decorate. So he's up here. But I love the idea of nestling a couple in your tree and you're gonna have to make sure the branches are out of the way. So if you saw him tripping up a little, don't worry, that's not a problem. They won't miss a beat, these guys, but you do need to make sure that the branches are out of the way if you're gonna nestle them in the tree. It makes sense. And of course, I, I will say this, the most fun, the most attention getting, the most fanciful gift for you. If you want the reindeer, they're, well, they're all in sellout quantities. So we have four dozen of the reindeer. I love this little jacket. Oh, wow. That's so cute. Mm -hmm. He's oh, and then five dozen of the elf. And um, now, Meryl, you were telling me, and I know I kind of gave the broad strokes about your family and the legacy oh, that yes. you have. I mean, this is really the DNA of Mr. Christmas, isn't it? I mean, only now in a, a scale that people find maybe a little easier to incorporate into their holiday decorating and in more rooms, right? Definitely. So my grandfather, Merrill Hermanson, who I was named after, started Mr. Christmas back in 1933. And so he loved classic Christmas items, but bringing innovation to classic Christmas items. So this is, he would have loved this because he also started by decorating store windows. And can you just imagine, I mean, this, one, this Christmas, we may not have the opportunity to go to many stores and see the windows, but bring this magic home. Send this magic to somebody, a loved one, whether it's, whether it's somebody who maybe is a, your grandmother, whether it's a grandson. I mean, this is the kind of gift that can go for so many people because it really just puts a smile on your face. It does, Meryl, I am so sorry. I have to give a quick yeah. update. Um, uh, Steve, is the reindeer gone? <gasps> okay, reindeer oh. is gone. Oh. Then it's oh, gonna be so the elf. Okay. Oh, Meryl, you only have three, okay, you know what? Our little oh, elf, dear. okay. 
bye. Bye, bye, oh, bye. Okay, Kyle. so we have our Santa choices and then the gnome. Now the gnome you were oh. telling me is, um, you've, the gnome was kind of new, new to the series, right? Exactly, brand new. This is the first time we've ever shown the, the little gnome there and he is just adorable. I actually propped him up against this nostalgic tree that we had with you with those beautiful snow tips and it looks like He's climbing the little nostalgic tree, which I also thought is just so precious and just so adorable for your kitchen, for a child's bedroom, for a window. How much fun. But again, this is something that this is going to be sharing the fun, sharing the magic, and really just putting a smile on people's face. So I think if you're going to get this, you're going to want to gift it as well. Okay, here's what they are. Meryl, I'm having so much fun with this. All right. Oh, my gosh. They're, they're all the going to go. They are all going to oh, go. So, oh, Shannon. I know. Extended holiday return. Black Santa, white Santa. The gnome, I'm surprised, um, is, is not selling out first because this is only for this show. It is on five pay flex pay, so that's $4.99 on your credit card. Extended holiday return policy. The flex is only good for today, but we expect every single one of them to go during this show. Um, I'm from Minnesota where my, my friend even has like a little Scandinavian shop in Alexandria, Minnesota. Did you know that gnomes are good luck? So in Minnesota with the long O, they actually have little, like they call them kitchen gnomes. So they put gnomes in their kitchen. That's why if you're in a white, why does somebody have a gnome in their yard? You know, it's not so the kids can vandalize it and steal it. It's because gnomes are considered good luck. So we could all use a little good luck this Christmas. Oh, so that sure. little climbing gnome, I'm telling you, winner, winner, chicken dinner in, in my book, Meryl. Oh, for sure. And Shannon, I didn't even know that. That's very embarrassing for me. So I really appreciate you telling me because I always just thought he's the cutest little guy. But now that I know that, I mean, look at that just nestled in the tree there. Imagine that with Santa or a gnome. How much fun. And I love the idea, again, of doing more than one because they're this fun new size. It's going to be so much fun to do a couple of characters and have them at the base of the tree, maybe put into the tree. Sorry, Mr. Snowman's gone. Don't look over there. And But I just think it's just so much fun. And they're battery operated, so they're going to be just so easy to use. And again, he climbs every rung of the ladder. We like to say that the, our, our big climber is the hardest working member of our family business. And now the little guy, he's going to start taking the place as well because He's just the new, the, our, our newest addition. We're so excited. And if you've got the big climber, put him, put them together, please. Because how cute would that be to have your climbers together? They, they will. Okay. Your baby climber, your big climber. They oh are going. Almost a thousand gone. Okay. Oh, wow. We In the Santa options, we have 200 only in white Santa or black Santa. The gnome, the gnome, the gnome. I'm all over that gnome. Flex pay is only good now. Pricing, the whole shebango. I hope you try it. Meryl, you know uh, what's going to happen, though? You're going to have to do your own YouTube channel. So now, instead of the cat climbing the Christmas tree, can you imagine the family animals with this? You're going to have, like, oh a whole gosh. YouTube sensation. I'm serious. Well... I love it. I love it. I think I think it's warranted because how cute these are. And I was just looking because, I mean, can you believe it? When when you turn him on, so you just press a button on his side right here, on the on the little side of his outfit. He's got a little button, and that just activates him. So he'll play a song, climb the ladder, come back down, and stop. And then you can activate him again by pressing that, just like you've got all of yours going there. And then I just love it with the nostalgic trees too, Shannon. How much fun! even with a tabletop tree like that, to really bring it to life and add a little animation and a little magic. Okay, here's what's happening. They are all in final quantities. Every oh, wow. single one of these will go. That five pay flex pay is only for today. Um, Meryl, you heard it here first. Mark my words, you're gonna have like a whole TikTok channel devoted to the gnome, a whole <laughs> TikTok channel devoted to the Santas. This is a YouTube sensation waiting to happen. If nothing else, how is the family pet going to react to the, the mini Christmas climber? All right, well, speaking of Christmas,